Greetings fellow humans, Bad Mark here with another transmission from Mech Tech Keyboards. And today we're taking a look at a switch from CIY. This is a tactile switch that is called the Asura. A-S-U-R-A. Now, this switch is made from a PC top housing, a nylon bottom housing, a POC stem, that's P-O-K, pre-advanced tactile switch, which... Not sure if they meant pre-travel, but it doesn't have that. It has a 21 millimeter spring with an operating force of 50 grams, plus or minus 5. A pre-travel of 2.1 and a total travel of 3.3 millimeters, make, making it a long pull switch. Now, these do come factory lubed. These are a very... The entire push is a bump. Um, this is extremely... A strong tactile. This is the complete opposite of what you'd expect from a Gaineron Brown switch. So let's go ahead and open it up and see what it's made of. Despite having already read the specs, I like to take a look at things for myself. So there we feel see the spring, and it's got the tiniest amount of grease, though there doesn't seem to be much else as far as. Factory lubrication usually means a film of the lubrication, though. Hmm. Well, this is a first. It appears that they added just the tiniest dab of lubrication right on top of the leaf spring. I mean, I, yep, that's lube. That is completely odd because that, for a tactile switch, that's the last time, that's the last place you want to put any lubrication. I find that quite odd. But let's see. Yeah, we can see that there's some lube shining through on the stem right there. And we see that it has a, yep, there's still some lubrication here on the tactile leaf. I'm, this spring is a single stage spring. Now, I've had just a few switches from CIY in the past, like the CIY Reds, that now were a decent enough switch, especially at the price. I think I got them for 15 cents a piece. All right, so let's close this back up. Oh, that bump definitely, it was heavy before, it's even heavier now has a very, I mean, even though it's a 50 gram spring, it actually feels a little heavier. Let's see if this will actually show. See how, it, I mean, it just goes right into it. Now this one is lubed, and I'm going to guess it's on the stem as well. So now that I've unlubed this one, see how it's a little heavier, you have to push this one down. All right, so I'm going to take three of them. I'm going to put them into a board that I have some Princess uh, tactile switches loaded up into so that we can compare what they sound like. All right, so these three are the CIY Azura, and these are the Princess tactile. Now, even though the CIY Azura is a 50-gram spring, the bump on it makes it feel even heavier. These are 60-gram, and they feel lighter. So here's a light touch of the CIY Azura compared to the MMD Princess Tactile. The Azura. Princess Tactile. So the CIY Asura have more of a muted, but I could almost say slightly deeper tone. 
If you like heavy tactiles with a big capital D bump, I think you're going to enjoy these. Now, these were sent out to me by KP Republic. Um, they currently have them listed on their website. So these roughly come out to 20 cents a switch on the KP Republic site. It's $22.20 for a pack of 110. So if you're looking for a new switch to play with um, and enjoy heavy tactiles, this EIY is not only going to um, deliver that to you, but because it does have the skinnier pins, it will work in older Otemu style hot swap sockets like this one. This is a Red Dragon. And as you can see, the pins on both sides are the same width, so they will fit right in and be able to work with not only your newer 3 and 5 pin hot swap compatibles, but will also work in any Otemu or Milmax style boards. It's, a, it's quite a nice tactile, I must say. This is the CIY Azura from KP Republic. Hope you guys enjoyed the quick, short review of this switch. And if you guys got any questions about it, feel free to post them down in the comments below. And I will do my best to answer them. Until the next transmission, keep calm and keyboard on.